Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week free market review. Now this Team of the Week had the potential to be a very nice Team of the Week for just in general and it has kind of turned into a bit of an investment kind of disaster as it were because it's just that's all it's good for. So we can smash the links, it would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. So we're going to work our way through as usual with the team of the week. Just breaking it all down, telling you who's good to invest in, who's not good to invest in and kind of a way to go from there. Now I would say personally from the get go that practically everyone is worth investing. Obviously the ones to kind of keep away from at the moment are Havertz, Ndidi, Golovin and Mares. Now in regards to Strakosa, he is 11k. 11 12k to buy and for an 84 rated card he will be very easy to get probably during rewards period tomorrow for discards so if you can go for 10 to 50 10 5 10 7 like 10 5 10 7 50 then you are sorted like he's not going to be difficult looking at um, even though he has got nice stats it's only the speed and kicking that's kind of a bit of work but we can work with it so is 15k at the moment he will definitely drop more. He has um, Bundesliga Player of the Month use, so definitely worth handy. And because of Harry playing for Schalke as well, that will have handy uses. Daily Blind is currently 18k and will most likely continue to drop. He is not desirable in the slightest. That pace is a big issue, but his Dutch, Dutch nationality will prove handy for um, anyone like Van Dijk, for example, winning Player of the Month, especially if you get a Netherlands requirement that needs an inform. So try and squeeze him under 15k. Um, so at the moment, from there, I would say, as I said, as I said Strakosa's discard. Sani, hopefully with a bit of, um, more um, supply, will drop nearer that 11, 12k. To be honest, I'll be getting him for 10 most likely anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. Same for Blind. Pizel is discard, so nothing strange used to go on about him. Sani Carzo is 20, um, sorry, it's 13k, I was about to say Golovin, 25k, sorry. It's funny how Golovin, um, when I was searching there, the cheapest was 24.5, I let him go, and the next was 28, I just was like not interested. I could have spent the 25k to make quick profit, but for video sakes, I wasn't overly fussed. But Sani Carzo, 13.750, he'll be another one that you can easily get for this card. He's got no desirable stats in pace, defending or physical. He's actually a card that you'd have to put, kind of put like anchor on just to make him, or hawk, just to make him a bit more usable. In regards to Havertz, he is 220k and I kind of predicted initially 2 to 300k and then I was kind of assuming f probably after rewards he would probably drop between that 150, 200 bracket. Um, but there's not much more else realistically that he will, um, he is a des He's a hyped card, but unless the card does not play well, then he will drop down to about 120k. And if more in form from the Bundesliga kind of kick in over the next couple of weeks, he may drop that a little bit more, even after supply is kind of non existent. And Diddy is 90k and a not bad looking card in all honesty. Shooting is his only weakness, easy enough to just put, um, even just say Hunter on him or um, Anchor, and you'll be kind of, or Shadow, then you're kind of sorted. Mare is 165k. I was kind of initially saying anywhere from 100 to uh, 150, and it looks like we're kind of going to be in that ballpark. So I'm quite cheap, um, pleased with that, and he's not going to be much more. So keep your eyes peeled with him. But I would, he's definitely um, good for sniping, though. For um, if you've got that kind of budget, Zapata and Oriazabal are 14k respectively. I would say both will easily you can get for minimum price um, if you're good on your sniping fingers um, I do definitely aim to nab pretty much them all going by this team of the week though the starting 11 the only ones at the moment I will not be trying to snipe are Golovin, Indidi and Havertz yes, and Mares. the rest I will just get in as time progresses over the weekend and so forth so that um, investment will just kind of build up on to the bench and reserves pretty much the only real man that we really, um, there's only two players fun enough that we will actually have a major focus on, Doherty and Nishizawa. Um, Kacharwick is 10.5 but with him being Polish, he has potential use for a future player of the month Lewandowski if Poland needs um, 
a requirement and it requires informs. He would that be the only time his card would inflate significantly in value. So, but even at 10k, he is still worth nabbing. I would not exactly knock it. It's an 82 rated inform. You need it to have a use. Lafon is currently 11k, and with a bit of patience, I would imagine he will drop a little bit more to discard. Um, nothing too spectacular about that card, but still, hand, the way he's been playing lately, he could easily bag more informs. And in all honesty, that's what we kind of hope for. It'd make him even more um, appealing for investment reasons. Dorothy's 15k EPL plan one is what he's most useful for. Obviously, he competes with Aurier. Um, if you want to do sniping at all of EPL informs, then you may want to go like right back. But be wary because Doherty is a right wing back, so you might want to focus then just defenders special, and then just try and hope and pray that you can get a cheap Aurier sneaking in. But very unlikely. So only do it unless you're really really keen. But Doherty will most likely drop near a discard along with Cresswell, so you've got to then factor that element of the um, filter. The Rita, Matria, and Jara are all discard. So if you've um, got Tenki. And that's what they're going for. Matria, to be honest, is useful for MLS player of the month if anyone potentially is gets an inform. I'm sorry, needs an inform from the MLS, or if say MLS players was a requirement and informs, that kind of helps a bit if it's not too high a rated squad, for example. It just kind of gets it out of the way. Um, it ticks off a couple of requirements really because usually MLS players aren't the most high rated, and you don't want to over rely on like Ibra. Vela, for example, so sometimes having that in form helps. Um, Ollie Watkins, he has had a position change from right wing to striker. He is currently 12k, so he's over discard, but he will most likely hit it, so keep your eyes peeled with that one. Slomani, Margarita, Margarita, Guzman, and Rodic are all discard respectively. Nothing remotely appealing about their cards, I'm afraid. Of I completely forgot about Marguerite. I took Marguerite out of my initial predictions, and then, as, as you saw in the video, we were at 14, and then we put ourselves down to 13. Not the brightest move in the world. Nishizawa is 10k, and in all honesty, um, with Watson, you could readily get him for 5k. Now, if Nishizawa stays around that 8 to 10k mark, my feeling is you could keep. Buying him on bid at 5k, 5-6k, selling him for 8-9k, and then it's just it's like quick um, selling on, and you're kind of sorted and making easy profit. So by the end of team, by the time end of team of the week three comes, the only informs I will hopefully not have um, will be Havertz, Indidi, and Mares. I basically aim to have 20 of the 23 team of the week. That's how. Um, Unappealing from a playing perspective, this team of the week is, but from an investment perspective, it has good potential. I would personally say there's a lot of it's not say usable cards to say kind of play with, but if you're um, someone that's wanting to maybe do like EPL, Bundesliga, MLS Player of the Month, SBCs, or if they were to drop us like say a special player SBC, it could be like um, flashbacks. Or anything that requires an inform, that is when, to be honest, a lot of this team of the week will have its use, especially players like Blind and Santi Carzola um, and Orya Zabal. These type of players will have that kind of use because they're like 84, 85s and they're like top nine nations. And as I say, Doherty has his um, EPL player of the month use as well because usually when you've got a Premier League requirement, you kind of do need an EPL player. But with Orya Zabal, Santa Carzola and Blind, it's easy enough to link them up into the various routes respectively. Um, in Blind's case, you would you can link them up with any of the Dutch players, whether it be like Rekic for example, or David Klassen from Wolfsburg and Heffer Berlin respectively. In Santa Carzola and or Jasbal's case, you could help link them up to like Fuzello if it's MLS. Or if, if EPL wise, it could end up being like David Silver, depending if it's a high rated route, or someone like Mascarell or Camacho for the Bundesliga. So there's definitely flexibility in each individual player, and obviously, Salif Sani is another strong one. So I'm hoping that helps in terms of ticking a number of the boxes. 
let me know folks in the comments down below what players if any are you going to focus your investments on as i said i always just get the one these days i'm not pushing for two a jar just keep the one and oh and then if so what players are you investing in and where are you going to um or if there's anyone from the team of the weeks that you want to play with who appeals to you from there so i hope you find this useful folks a bit um thought get this up early before the awards um tomorrow so take easy all thanks for watching remember to smash the like sub to the channel if you're new know, forward to it g's legend and i'll catch you all later folks